First map here in our best of seven King of the Hill is Twisted Meadows. Both teams deciding to field the Night Elf player here. I think Europe would be wise to only put Happy in once Terrana Stand has been picked. So basically, field dice or somebody, whatever else, first. And, uh, you know, when you lose, swap in Blade or uh, Hawk. Terrana Stand, always a great map for humans. And then once Terrana is out, that's when you can put in Happy. Because, yeah, Happy has really been struggling. Does it sound for y loud for you guys? It's pretty loud for me. Just gonna turn it down for me. Let me know if the sound is too high for you. I can also turn it down. Um, but yeah, Happy has been losing, honestly, a surprising amount of maps in this tournament. We're not used to seeing that normally. Dice, by the way, got the Shadow Priest steal, so he's got two Shadow Priests of his own. Colorful, obviously, just wants to play standard Bear Mirror in this Night of Mirror. Oh, he lost a Shadow Priest that gave away level 3. Oh, that was a big mistake by Dice. That was really not supposed to happen. TP home now. A couple of... A uh, bit, bit of Moon Juice was necessary. And it seems like we're just gonna go for a straight up Bear Mirror here in the end. Oftentimes Dice was trying to pre uh, yeah, prevent playing this. We saw him play Potom, we saw him play Expansions, we saw him play a bunch of different things in Isle of Mirror. But now it shall be just good old bears in the end. Whoa, is this gonna be a Berserker going down? No, nice save. Good block, good movement here. Very important to keep this Berserker alive. A player's forces are under attack. Dice with the bigger creep camp here. Potentially, at least. As the keeper comes out. Does not want to show himself, though, apparently. By the way, thank you to our subs. Earlier, Dumtum, first sub of the day. And Triflex, with a five month three sub as well, says Remo, my favorite of you guys. Took me a moment to understand that, but thank you. Very nice of you to say. Oh, Team Hunter here might be able to get a cancel. Oh, that's a late cancel as well. That's pretty annoying. That's going to slow down lore production by a lot. Good creeping here by the keeper. Gets a jump start to level 2 right away. Gonna pick up the big item here. Got the rope already, which is nice. I mean, the mantle. Now he's got the rope. Rope and Mantle. Nicely go together. Now he's smart. And level 2. Look at those Reclix, baby. Plus 9. And the Entangle here on the Berserker might not lead to a kill, but the dry advantage right now is with Colorful. Entangle to prevent the hero kill. Dice has fewer Dryads already. Might be losing more here. Staff, the demon wants to join. And join he does. Oh, entangle again. Is he gonna try to deny? Nope. Wait, I'm so confused. Well, how was the keeper back? Ah, he's just he's just walked back in. Alright. Berserker still gonna go down here. We have a mud golem now as well. Dice loves the mercs, as it seems. And of course he's got additional gold because his lore uh, was late. And also inactive for a little while. And now Dice doesn't even have any Dryads, which seems very dangerous against the Keeper. Oh my god, look at the Keeper Int. Plus 12, dude, that's sick. And you know that? That adds up over time. You get a bunch of entangles you can use. Great mana region. And really good right clicks. Creep Jack now. 
Oh my god, robe again! LOL! This is gonna be the smartest keeper I've ever seen. Come on, give it to him, baby. Give it to him! Oh! Plus 18. Plus 18 int. Is this a record? I don't think I've ever seen plus- No, he sold one! No. He still had it for a time though. I don't think I've ever seen plus 18 int before. Plus 18 damage is easy, of course, but plus 18 int, bruh. Well, now it's gone though. Big item here for colorful. Lots of good ones. Staff of Silence. Mm, against Dryad's pretty bad, I would say. So with Mask, also sold. Dice finding lots of mana. More than he needs. More than he wants. Alrighty, we got bears and creeping. Dice is finding a ton of damage. Oh, and here's the zeppelin, and the engine of wind isn't finished yet. Oh, colorful drop here could be quite potent with the four bears. I don't think you can go for the tree of eternity. But he could cancel the wind and go for the entangled, perhaps. But he's going straight for the entangled. Yep, that's a move we see all the time. There he goes. Nice save with the zap. Not enough damage to take out the zeppelin. Ooh, oh my lordy. It's gonna cost him a TP in the end. But that does seem to be worth it. That should be more than 600 gold. It's honestly a big map here. Because of the relevance of Terna Stand. If Europe loses and picks Terna Stand then to get Terranus out of the way, because the loser gets map choice, then Colorful can play on Terna Stand. And uh, Terna Stand is nowadays a great map for Night Elf because it's an amazing map for Demon Hunter. Not dependent on mana, dude. He's got 835 mana pool. Ridiculous. We're even on upgrades at the moment. Colorful is a bit faster with getting his. A player's forces are under attack. So who's got the better items here? I think this demon is looking really good. Plus 6 strength, plus 9 agi. That's really nice. Having all this armor is great. Dice has way less armor. Only around 6. Perhaps he has more damage though. But of course this keeper is looking like way more of a threat. But he's still missing the Orb of Venom. I think you should sell the pendant for it. 
Don't think he needs the mana that badly. Pendant gives a lot of gold. I thought I had two antenna. Oh, this bear. Oof. Almost. Gotta be careful with those GNL bears. Another entangle. Quick dispel this time. Dice has way more mana right now. He could fight really well. Once he heals. But it seems like both are not really in the mood for fighting. We're just sitting at 50 and upgrading. Oh, creep jack opportunity. Kind of surprising that Colorful exposes himself to that. He saw the army coming. Didn't even get an item from this camp. And one bear almost goes down. Whee, that was a last second staff. Bear survived at home. But here's the fight. And again, Dice has way more mana. Demon very hurt as well. The staff's on cooldown. Has to TP out to save the demon. That's two bear kills. Two bear kills and the TP forced. This was a big W for dice. Only cost him an invuln, basically. And now he has to heal. Thank you, Snack and Ben to Beck and Nihilic with the resubs. In Night of Mirror, if it goes late, normally inventory space becomes very precious. As you can see, dice is fully slotted. We'll still need to pick up that second orb of venom. There was a second bell of giant strength here that was sold. Colorful has a lot of gold though. Alright, Zep for dice as well. Wait, Colorful is breaking up, Keep. Oh, he might actually want to go for a big attack. Alright, Red Camp Creep. Scroll of Restoration here is insane. Potion of Divinity is insane. Also, Potion of Restoration is very good. Also, the Rock Golem could be really good. And it is an uh, Int Tome, not picked up by the Keeper Sag. Oh, it is the Rock Golem! Stone Token on the Demon. Has to be microed well, though. Can't just A click with that. Calvar is a huge army. And Dice is not yet producing. Dice might, might be caught off guard. Wait. He's getting Mark of the Talon. And no second orb. Dice a bit slow with the macro here. It seems like it. Two thousand gold on Dice. If Colorful just attacked right now, he might just win outright. Gullible's gonna be maxed. Add 80. Level 5 demon. Level 4.5 keeper. Dice very close to level 5 demon as well. Oh, there it is. 
You need only two hits. Wait, he's making more talons. Bears plus talons? Wait, is that a thing? Huh? The magic damage is good. Fairy fire is good. Of course, if you get to Cyclone, it's amazing. Oh wait, he does have master training. Oh, damn! But not that much mana, obviously. And the fight breaks out, and it looks like Colorful just has the way bigger army here. The bear front line for him is looking tremendous. He's got the scrolls as well. Dice may have gotten a bit too cute. We'll see. He's gonna TP out. Doesn't like the way this fight is looking. And nobody lost anything just yet. A player's forces are under attack. Dice needed more time to get to 80. Oh. Some units getting caught. But again, nothing died. Not a single unit has fallen. Colorful with the expansion. Pendant of mana sold. Finally, Knob of Venom. Alright. If Dice had 300 mana on all of these talents, I would say he's in a looking in a great fight, in a great position to fight. But he doesn't have much mana, that's the thing. He's got only two Cyclones at the moment. And we have a decent number of Dryads for Dispel. Maybe you should just use Fairy Fire. I think you should just use Fairy Fire. A player's forces are under attack. Right? Fairy Dragons now as well. Dice still has the trump card of the stone token. Scrolls bought. Alright. This should be it. 3-2 three, bears against... Oh, I can't click it. 3-3 three, three bears. And off we go. Talons take to the skies. Trying to take out the anti-air. Heal scroll used as well. Demon for dice though dropping really low. The demon in trouble already. Dice here struggling with the position of his first hero, getting entangled again. And the demon is going to be out of the fight pretty soon. Keeper level 5 though, has to staff out the demon hunter. Now it's time to heal, but the keeper fighting by himself. Supply is still looking very even. The rock golem it did not do too much as it seems. Also for him, the thorns aura I guess is taking effect. So we got a couple of boulders though. TP out one more time, more bears falling. This one is also going to drop. And the supply is still dead even. But Colorful now has the expansion. I don't know if Dice knows about this. Using Rejuve on the Rock Golem. You don't see that every day. As now Colorful is in a great position. Expansion starts mining. Both with a double level 5 heroes. There's still a Rock Golem here though. If Colorful can win the next fight decisively, I mean Dice can. Win the next fight decisively, there might be a chance still. Oh wait. Colorful has like no dryads left. He's got two in the main. The rock column is forgotten! Dice! Oh my god. Oh my god, Dice, are you serious? Didn't put him in the group! Oh my god, the sheep. Oh my god, the sheep. Are you serious? Holy crap, look at that sheep blocking. Oh my god, Dice, you need to look at your minimap, bro. You need to look at your minimap, bro. Oh, the rock golem and the sheep. Dice, you're giving me a heart attack. Oh, what are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Now he kills it. Yeah, bro. Maybe now, rock golem, huh? Nope. 
All right. And all of a sudden, Colorful is back to 60 supply. And the rock golem just... How did you forget about the rock golem, dude? He even used rejuve on him. It's so conf... So weird. So, so weird. Demon is glass cannon, by the way. He's got no HP, no armor, nothing. Alright, how good can the talons be? Cyclone dispelled. Oh, here come the wisps as well for detonate. Cyclone dispelled again. Demon in the back, getting focused heavily. Demon just gonna go down. Dice not with the drives in position. He gets level 6. He actually gets tranquility. But it should be too late, normally. Plenty of bears about to drop as well. Level 6 Demon Hunter. Level 6 Keeper. And that will do it. Nice ideas though by Dice. You know, a late game talent transition. Maybe not the worst thing. I think using Cyclone, not the right call, because the Dryas can dispel the Cyclone easily. But they cannot dispel the Fairy of Fire easily. What if you just have, in your AD Supply Army, four Talons for mass Fairy Fire. Four Talons should be enough to put Fairy Fire on absolutely everything. And then the magic damage could perhaps also be decent. And then, if needed, they could morph into air and take out the uh, Fairy Dragons. 